Now, I've alluded to next Tuesday. John, punch this next note up on the board. You built this. This is what is out there. Let the trading begin. I'm going to run through hot names from each of these teams who could be, probably will be traded by Tuesday. Detroit Tigers, number one. I'm kind of surprised. I picked the Tigers to be the surprise team in the American League, and they kind of faltered. They did not hit very well. They are shopping the ace of their pitching staff, Tariq Skubal. He's got 13 or 14 wins. It sure appears they're going to move him, and what's a shocker is he's got two years' control still left on his contract. Skubal and Jack Flaherty, former Cardinal right-hander who's been beset by injuries, has pitched really well in a bounce-back season. If I'm a Detroit fan, I think I'd be pretty peeved that ownership has built this to the point where it looks like it's about to compete for a playoff thing, and now they're going to auction off two of the pitchers. White Sox, 27-77 and 77 record. That's brutal. 50 games below 500. They might be threatening the all-time worst New York Mets record of 40 and 120 wow. back in the 1960s. I think the White Sox are going to trade Luis Robert, the center fielder, and they're going to trade Garrett Crochet, uh, who's having a mystical season, even though they still control those guys for a couple more years. White Sox are in total rebuild mode, so keep an eye on that. The weird ones in Toronto, they, it's like they got everybody on the trade block. I mean, this team is underachieved. It's not hitting. It's pitching. has been sporadic. They're talking about now trading – Frontline starters, Chris Bassett and Kevin Gaussman. Bo Bichette, the shortstop, though, he's hurt right now, still on the trade block. Rumors won't go away. Vlad Guerrero's on the trade block. And Yusai Kakuchi, starting pitcher, on the trade block. It's like we might make wake up Wednesday morning. Won't be anybody left in Toronto because I they're shopping everybody. Cubs have given up. They've been beset by injuries. They've decided we're not going to be a buyer. We're going to be a seller. And the name that they're shopping, and he's probably going to move, is Jameson Talion, one of their starting pitchers. Texas, wrecked by injuries during the course of the season. They've got some of their injured everyday players back. They don't have all their pitching back. That's probably a thing next spring. I don't know that Nathan Avaldi is going to survive next week in Texas. He He's being shopped too. Angels, Carlos Estevez, closer. Uh, I keep hearing the Yankees are de- Yankees are desperate for pitching. Yankees are 15 and 25 over the last 40. That's in- incredible. Incredibly bad. Holy cow. And they just got swept by the Mets in Yankee Stadium, four games. Think people in the borough a little pissed? Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, the Angels are shopping Carlos Estevez, Tyler Anderson, the journeyman pitcher. And now they're put their former number one draft pick, Reed Detmers, on the trade block. They you know, he looked like an ace last year. He started the season 3-0, and and he's not pitched well at all. He's back at Salt Lake City. He's got an ERA in the sevens. Evidently, they're, they're possibly going to move him. Rockies logo is up there. Uh, that involves Calvin Quantrill. Miami is shopping Jesus Lazardo, starting left-handed pitcher. And it looks like they're going to move the second baseman center fielder, uh, Jazz Chisholm. And Tampa Bay is shopping Randy Orozarena, the center fielder. And Zach Eflin, their starting pitcher. But I've heard the big issue with the race is they're refusing to pay pick up any of the remainder of Eflin's contract. And he said he's got a $15 million deal this year, $18 million next season. And clubs want Tampa. If we're taking Eflin, you got to pay some of the salary. And Tampa Bay's not in favor of that. So those are the names in the news. And that's a lot of names, most of them pitchers. And we know how many teams are think they're still in the pennant race. So there's going to be transactions. And I think somebody's going to be the first one to pull the trigger between now and Tuesday. I don't know whether it's going to be the Dodgers or it's going to be the Yankees, but one of them does something and that domino comes off the board, then all the other dominoes are going to fall fairly quickly. So John from left field, you be the general manager. Tell me what you think is going to happen. Well, all, I mean, it's interesting names, these pitchers, but are any of them like legit number one starters? Scoobal, Detroit. You think he is? Really? Oh, uh, uh, he's 13 or 14 wins. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but Crochet isn't. Well, Crochet's a converted reliever is having a mystical season. The big thing with Crochet is, has he hit his innings limit already? And we're getting to August 1st. Mm. So how do you use Crochet? You have to be careful with Crochet. He's, but he's not had recent arm problems, and he is a power pitcher, and he's done very well in just an absolute miserable situation. 
I'm waiting to see if some big name surprises us, you know, as we get closer and closer to the deadline. Because a lot of times there's always a Verlander or a Scherzer or one of those legit number ones. Legit veteran guys. But the problem is virtually all those veteran guys are hurt. Mm. And you can't they can't trade with a hope that somebody gets healthy for the last eight weeks of the season. So those are the hot names on the trade board. We'll be talking more about it. I bet. I bet there'll be a deal or two between now and we rejoin you on Monday uh, for the Monday bonus podcast. So those are all the big baseball stories. We get to halftime.